Hi everyone, welcome to the video on chapter 11, amines. So first of all, let's look at the introductions to amines. So amines are organic derivatives of ammonia, NH3, with one or more alkyl groups bonded to the nitrogen atom. This lone pair electrons or nitrogens makes amines both basic and nucleophilic. If you refer to the general structures of an amine, you have three bonding for it if this nitrogen is neutral and there will be another lone pair attaching. So for this nitrogen is octet. So giving it another example, this is the structures of our ammonia nitrogens with three hydrogen atoms attached to it and a lone pair. And methylamine, this nitrogen has uh, two hydrogens and one alkyl group and with one lone pair. Next, let's look at the classifications of amines. It depends on the number of alkyl or aryl group attached to the nitrogen atom. If it is an aromatic amine, nitrogen atom will attach directly to a benzene ring. So if it is a primary amine, there will be one alkyl group attached to the nitrogen. Secondary amine, two alkyl group attached to the nitrogen. Tertiary amines with three alkyl groups. So this alkyl group can either be the same or different. All right, so let's look at the examples over here. So focusing where is your nitrogen, if this nitrogen is attaching to one carbon, so one alkyl group, so this will be our primary aliphatic amine. So if it doesn't attach directly to uh, an aromatic ring, then we've named this, uh, we classified this one as aliphatic amines. Another example, so over here, focus where is your nitrogen, and then look at the neighbors. So over here, you have two carbons neighbor. Therefore, this is a secondary amine. Uh, aromatic because the nitrogen is atta attached directly to the benzene. So secondary aromatic amines. All right, so next, let's look at this 11.2 nomenclature of amines. All right, first, let's look at the common names. So the names of alkyl groups bonded to nitrogens followed by suffix amine. So the parents name amines. So for example, if you got one alkyl group, alkylamine is the general name with one substituent. Dialkylamine, two identical alkyl groups. Trialkylamine, three identical alkyl groups. If you have two or more different alkyl groups, you need to follow according to the, this alphabetical order. So for the first example here, you get CH3, CH2, and H2. So here is your ethyl groups, and then the gener the common name reports as ethylamine. If you have three similar or three identical alkyl groups, this is an ethyl, so try ethylamine. If you have two identical groups with another different group, so arrange according to the alphabet. So E start first and then M. Diethyl methylamine. So di because you have two uh, identical ethyl group. And lastly, over here, attaching to this nitrogen is a third butyl group. So the common name, we name it as third butylamine. All right, next one, let's look at this IOPAC names for aliphatic amines. So first of all, still the same, we are looking for the longest continuous carbon chain containing the amino functional groups, and the parent's name is named as amine, which we name it as alkanamine. So this one is slightly different compared to the common name. And then number two, give number to the positions of this amino group and other substituents or parents. So uh, look at the examples over here. For this amino group, so that attach at the second carbon. So remember to find the longest continuous carbon change. Okay, so over here, positions one, two, three, this is the main parent here. We name it as the propanamine. Okay, three carbons, propanamine. So nitrogen attached at carbon number two, so the parent's name will be two propanamine. And then for this CH3 will be the substituent. So the full names over here, two methyl, two propanamine. Remember to look at this longest continuous carbon change first. So for the second example, so over here, you got four carbon in the main parent change, which is the longest. And the positions of NH2 locate at carbon number two. So the full names over here, 2-butanamine. Number three, the prefixes N is used to show the positions of other substituents on nitrogen atoms. So after you found out the main parent's name, then only you figure out, is there any substituents attaching to this nitrogen atom? So if you have four aliphatic amines, the non-numeric locant, which is uh, located at the nitrogen, 
will be placed after the numeric local. Numeric local means the number when a list of them is needed. So it depends what is the structure is given. So that is also the same meaning as you put letter after number to indicate the positions. So to be more clearer, let's look at the first examples given here. All right, the one that circle in full here, you have six carbon, that is your main parent change, longest continuous carbon change with the nitrogen. All right, so nitrogen is attached to carbon number three, so the parent name, we call it three uh, hexanamine. Okay, three hexanamine. So you can see that at positions number two and number four, I have this metal group. And at the nitrogen, at the same time, I have the metal group. So if it is an aliphatic amine, then the locations, because they are all similar uh, substituents, so you have to follow these rules. Okay, letter after number. So here you got positions 2, 4, and then here you got the positions N and N. Okay, two substituents, that means two positions. So letter after number. So in the full names, 2, 4, and N, letter after number. So that means number first. Okay, 2, 4, and N. So four similar substituents, we call it tetrametal, 3 hexanamine. So this is the parent name. This is the uh, substituents. Okay, another example survey here. For this case, you need to find the longest or the biggest carbon change, which you refer to these cyclic structures. So this will be your parent. So we call it as so we call it as the cyclohexanamine. Okay, cyclohexanamine. So now you have the positions of this ethyl group attached to carbon number two. And then you have this propyl group attached to N. If you follow this example, still we are looking at the uh, alphabetical order because both are different substituents. So for the ethyl group, it attached to carbon number two in the cyclic structures. For this propyl group, start with P attached to N. So still, if they are different substituents, we are following the alphabetical order, unless the substituents, they are the same. Okay, so the full name, 2 ethyl N propyl cyclohexanamine. And next, let's look at this IUPAC names for aromatic amines. So um, again, aromatic amines, nitrogens must be attached directly to the benzene. So the parent's name, we name it as aniline. Benzene with NH2, we name it as aniline. So the prefixes N is still used to show the positions of other substituents on your nitrogen atom. So for example, so over here with two substituents, if you see this NH2 attached to a benzene, so we call this parent as aniline. Okay, and then label the numbers accordingly. And then here, carbon number four, you can see a methyl group. So four methyl aniline. And then over here, again, the same thing, NH, NH, CH3, nitrogens direct to the benzene. So here will be your parent. And then this methyl group is attaching on the nitrogens. Okay, so the positions and methyl aniline. Okay, so remember uh, where is your nitrogen attaching to? You're going to show the location. Okay, another example. So over here, again, you have this aniline. Okay, nitrogen attached to the benzene, which is your parent. And then for this case, CH3, CH3, you have two similar or identical substituents. One located at nitrogen, one located at carbon-4. So for this aromatic amines, the rule is opposite uh, compared to the aliphatic amine, in which the latter will come first. Okay, for similar substituents, uh, when you need to arrange this one. So, letter N come before numbers. So, N for dimethyl aniline. So, here is a rule for you. For aromatic amines, in order to put the location, how to arrange uh, for the naming, the non-numeric locon N is placed before the numeric locon when list of them is needed. So another simpler word, letter before number to indicate the positions. So this is in the case that if you have similar uh, or identical substituents. So N for dimethyl aniline. 
So another example is giving over here. Here is your parent, which is the aniline. And then at positions uh, over here, you can see N and N for this metal group, uh, both located at the nitrogens. And then at positions number two and positions number six. So altogether, you have four metal groups. So according to these rules, uh, aromatic N means letter before number. Okay, so the full name for these structures, we name it as NN26 tetrametal aniline. So lethal before numbers. Okay, and then we compare a little bit back to this aliphatic amines. Lethal after numbers. So if this, uh, they have similar or identical substituents, so the arrangement 2,4-NN tetrametal. All right, so another naming uh, pattern is when this amine or this functional group acts as the substituents. So this is when uh, multiple functional groups are present and NH2 group does not take priority. And this one will be named as the amino substituents. This one is actually based on your uh, priority table in which carboxylic acid, ester, aldehyde, ketone, alcohol, um, they all have higher priority compared to this amine or amino functional groups. Okay, so for example, so over here you can see that uh, we have the COOH carboxylic acid. So the, this will be your parent. So four carbon butanoic acid. And at positions number two, there is an amino group. So two amino butanoic acid. And then for this structure, COOH, this one, to find your parents, this one will be your benzoic acid. And then at positions number two and positions number four, you have the amino group. So the name we call it as 2,4-diamino benzoic acid. Next structures over here, you have your main parent chains containing the uh, ketone or the carbonyl functional group. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, in your main parent chain here, over here, you have five carbon. So this is actually your two pentanone. And then NH2 located at positions number five. So the full name, five amino, two pentanone. Last one over here, presence of OH. OH has a slightly higher priority compared to amino. So here is your parent. So at positions number one, two, three. Then you can see this substituent. All right, so the parents record as cyclohexano, and then positions number three with an amino. So three amino cyclohexano. All right, so over here we have a table questions one. Complete the table be below. So you have to try and practice. Um, give the IUPAC name or the common name, and then try to draw out the correct structures over here. And this one will be discussed during your tutorial sessions, and of course. Please try your exercise um, 11.2.